Hi, host. Hi. <laughs> Ellen. Uh, my name is Anthony Jakes. I am from New York. I have a couple of techno dollies there. My name's Sarah. I'm, I'm originally from Liverpool in the UK, but I've lived in New Zealand for 15 years. I'm Frank Brusselmann. I come from Belgium. Uh, ich bin Thomas Hümner. Ich komme aus Berlin. Uh, my name is Pang Ki Su. I'm from Korea. I'm Karri from Helsinki, Finland. The most uh, remarkable was last year. So there were several shots that were layered, I think at least 40 layers. It was high speed uh, following guy on a bicycle that arrived on a, a little square and there it, a lot of things happened and I eventually they step into the car and drive away. The director asked to do this many takes because he wanted to layer every single action separately so he could choose in the post-production. We did a lot of work with the Techno Dolly on, on, on Avatar too, and we, we did import moves a lot from previous. In the morning, Mr. Cameron, he did a move on the mocap volume with, yeah. with an iPad. Right. And then we took that move and put it in the Techno Dolly. And then we repeated the move. And then on top of that, we recorded Pan and Tilt and Zoom and Focus and 3D. So, so we kind of mixed pre-recorded move in the previous with live recording on set. Acht, neun verschiedene uh, Sets yeah. hatten und in, in drei Tagen so uh, quasi wie eine, eine, ein, ein Master uh, durch die Räume geflogen sind. Car commercial recently, where uh, it was for an electric car from uh, Chevrolet. And uh, they had a bunch of shapes that at one, at one particular spot it would spell out a word behind the car a very large scale and but they wanted a very big sweeping move around the car and to pass through that exact moment you just put a keyframe there and then you build the rest of the move and you know that the crane would pass and they knew it was the perfect tool for the job triggering is a big thing it can be anything with triggered lights We've triggered even vehicles. The QTake operator, they can trigger all of us at the same time. And you can do that with rigs as well, if anything needs to move. Right. Say you had a boat and you needed it to swing at a certain time, you can line us all up together. So we were working in, in Lego, which is a miniature world. We needed a controllable camera and we needed like really small and precise movements with a lot of uh, control of focus. The specific tools of the Techno Dolly in that Lego was keyframing. We use the matrix mode a lot, but you can just use the controls to move the camera very tiny. So, so the matrix mode, I would say, is, is uh, really useful for miniature work. I like the, the size you can cover with it on the studio, for example. And of course, we do also a lot of tabletop shootings with the, with the small, for example, the food commercials. And I like the possibility to make the exact small movements also with it. Good is, aber dass man mit dem Techno Dolly uh, ihn einfach so nutzen kann wie wie ein uh, klassischen Teleskopkran, aber trotzdem die Wiederholbarkeit hat. That's one thing that's great about the Techno Dolly is that it can be used like a regular crane, and you can find shots and change them on the fly and from take to take make as you go along you know the director can give you feedback and you just very quickly you know people ask me how long does it take to program a techno dolly i say it doesn't take any time to program a techno dolly it's like as soon as you can show me the blocking we're ready to go 굉장히 생소한 분야의 생소한 장비 이제 특별한 장비를 어 오퍼레이터 하게 되어 되었는데 굉장히 어렵다고 생각했는데 테크노 달리라는 장비가 너무 쉬운 조작 방법을 가지고 있어 가지고 things I'd like to see the Techno Dolly do. Well, uh, you just made what was missing because that was the reach. You, you just made a bigger Techno Dolly. Der Wunsch, oder sofort kommt ja immer die Frage, gibt's den auch größer? Haben wir jetzt eine Antwort ja, gefunden? Genau. <laughs> I, I understand it's mechanically difficult, but what I sometimes would like is to be able to put the camera on top. Overslung would be great. Just sometimes you want to just get that or you need to be closer to the ceiling. Yeah. You know, silly things like that. One thing I was asked by a director was, can I, can you display me how many frames it is between that point and that point? It would be handy to, to not just see the seconds, but also be able to say, okay, it's so many frames. It's very good at making straight lines and, you know, and, and beautiful moves. But sometimes you want to do a, an arc, a, a circle. Right. And it would be great to say, Okay, sir, you know, orbit around that target and let it have it just automatically do that. That would be a really nice. I'm going to say stuff that you've already just done, which is they were always asked after more length on the arm. And the other thing was, so 
some of the sets were too small for it to fit into. Right. So we always wanted the head um, that could basically fit into a smaller set. Another beautiful thing with Technodoly and, and your company here is that when you ask uh, Jan uh, that makes the software about a function, he makes it for you if it's important enough. So, so if we need functions as operators, we can ask for it and then it actually will, will happen.